guys are messed up. I finally caved and I bought a Honda. Let me show you. This is my new Honda. It's uh, and it is Honda, so it's not clickbait for you guys. This is a pressure washer. And what I want you to focus on here are the specs. This is a 2800 PSI, 2.3 gallons per minute. To it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have these cigarettes. Oh, this crazy mother. Alright guys, so as you can see, you can see how thick the foam is on the Jeep. Now it's already before, actually well, it was a lot thicker before when I actually put it on. Now it's starting to drip off. But if you have a pressure washer with those specifications, and I used exactly, I think it was either two or three ounces of the soap that they sell. It's a lot thicker on this side also. It comes out exactly like those videos you see on Chemical Guys or Adams Polish. So. I wanted to just share those specifications with you. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and finish washing the Jeep. And I'll tell you, between having the pressure washer and the foam cannon is gonna make my life so much easier washing the Jeep from now on. Jeep is all nice and clean. Took all the soap off, dried it up all nice. I would definitely have to say that for any mole curls out there, this is probably gonna be your first mod to pick up a pressure washer. Again, the specifications of the pressure washer were 2,800 PSI and 2.3 gallons per minute. The uh, 2800 PSI, I'll try and keep it as close to that as possible. And if you get 2.3 or 2.4 gallons per minute, even better. Um, the soap that I was using, I'm gonna show you right now. I just, want, I just want you guys, if you guys end up trying to buy it, I don't want you guys to buy the wrong stuff and not have the same results. Like I said, if you look on YouTube or you read the reviews on Amazon for the foam cannon, a bunch of people are complaining like, oh, why don't I get those kind of same thick soapy suds on the vehicle? Well, that's the reason why. So a lot, I see a lot of people who are trying to do it with electric pressure washers. And then I saw some other people trying to do it with pressure washers that were too strong and they were having issues. Anyway, this is the soap. I could go ahead and include a link in there for you too. Hopefully the camera's focusing. This is the Honeydew Snow Foam Auto Wash. And I used it with the Torque Professional Foam Cannon. Again, I'm not being sponsored. They didn't send me this, but you know what, Chemical Guys? If you see this video and you want to send me some products, hit me up on my email address because I do love your products so far. Um, I actually need to start ordering more products uh, for like waxing the vehicle and stuff like that. I'm starting to run low. So I'll take care of that. But anyway, guys. It's Monday morning, um, well, it's, gonna, it's Monday afternoon when you see this video actually. Like I said, I just wanted to show you guys the pressure washer and how I'm soaping up the vehicle and, and stuff. It's gonna make my life so much easier now, getting rid of, getting rid of the mud. My tires, usually when I'm, uh, when I'm done off-roading, they're all brown, and even after you wash them, they're still kind of brown. Um, so what I ended up doing with the, the tires to get them nice and black was uh, simple green, simple green, half water, half, half uh, simple green then spray it on the tires, stiff brush, and pressure wash the, uh, all that soap off from the tires. Then foam cannon on the whole vehicle. Well, first I kind of I rinse the vehicle to get rid of any loose dirt or whatever. Then foam cannon, hit it with the microfiber sponge. And yeah, and that's pretty much it. Just wash everything off, dry the vehicle off, and that was it. Anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. It also, click the little bell icon so you can get the notifications for any new videos that are coming out. Give the video a thumbs up if you thought there was uh, some useful information in this video. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and have a great day.